mornings are getting colder, the leaves are changing, and those in the north know that winter is coming. And that's all fine and dandy, but lower temps might mean you're thinking about putting your bike into hibernation. It's probably advisable once the snow flies, but that doesn't mean you have to succumb to the cold right away. It's actually possible to be safe and quite comfortable well into the winter, and we're gonna take a look at how you can do that. First of all, you need to stay warm, and besides heated gear, there's a few things you can do. To start, a set of hand guards will protect your hands and bike's controls from minor spills. However, the real value here is deflecting icy cold wind away from your hands. You'll want to go with larger hand guards, like the Barkbuster Storm Set, which will provide more coverage than other designs. So once your hands get cold, there's basically no chance of getting them warm again unless you have some outside help. That's where heated grips come in. During the moderate weather, heated grips will allow you to ride in lighter, more supple gloves. But when the temperature drops, heated gear will make the difference between a comfortable ride to the office and arriving with stiff, frigid fingers, something nobody wants. Cold is not just about ambient temperature, it's about wind chill. So any protection you can get in winter will be welcome. You can choose a larger windscreen available from MRA and GV, as well as wind deflectors from MRA that will better manage airflow than your bike's stock windscreen. When the temperatures drop towards freezing, every little bit will help. If your helmet already has a no-fog face shield like the Scorpion AT950, you're good to go. But if it doesn't, look to see if a pinlock insert is available. This is a super affordable upgrade and there's really no reason not to have one. Let's talk tires. If you ride a sport bike, chances are you have tires designed for warm weather riding that produce maximum grip when they're hot. A better bet are sport touring tires for sport bikes or 50-50 tires for your adventure bike. They'll work better at low temps and give you more confidence in the rain and on roads streaked with sand and leaves. Do yourself a favor, swap out your track day tires for something like this. You'll thank us later. So those are just the basics, and it's true that not much makes riding in sub-freezing temperatures totally comfortable. But a few strategic accessories is gonna help with those near-freezing morning commutes and really just make riding more tolerable. And after all, what we all want is to ride longer into the season because that's what we love. Find examples of all these parts at twistedthrottle.com.